Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video, doing the EC Extended European Outlook for today's uh, second video. So this is your Tuesday 30 day slash 42 day look ahead for uh, Europe and I shall get on that for you in a moment. Just to say that the first video today was our 6am UK weather forecast. I've got today's 14 day coming for on today as well. So please like, share, subscribe on all of today's videos and content. Thank you so much everybody for doing that. Day 10 to 14 day could well be uh, a little bit later but on. So I might be off to do some Christmas shopping today. So uh, if it turns up late, say around four or five-ish, don't be overly surprised. But I will try to get 10 to 14 day done for you. Um you know, uh, later on. Right, okay, let's start off. Uh, thank you so much to ETF.INT, by the way, for supply of the charts. Thank you so much, GC. Right, let's start off with the uh, week one mean sea level pressure anomaly then. This takes us from the 13th to 20th of November, the week we're currently in. Low pressure will be dominating from off the Atlantic into Europe. We have got some high pressure blocking up towards Greenland and Iceland. We also have high pressure down towards Spain and Portugal. Is that high pressure towards Spain? And Portugal is the Azores high trying to bring up miles southwest winds. The high pressure towards Iceland, of course, is trying to introduce colder air down from the north. This is how the 500 millibar uh, height, height anomaly is looking again above average heights blocking around Greenland, Iceland, and down towards France, Spain, Portugal, elsewhere, plenty of low pressure in the North Atlantic bringing unsettled weather with it. So temperature anomalies uh, this week looking quite mild across most parts of Europe, but with one big exception. That exception is the far north. So from Denmark northwards through the Baltic Sea states of Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania, just into the far north, feeds of Poland as well. It's cold on average. I mean, it gets colder than that as we move up into Scandinavia. So some central parts of Sweden will be seeing temperature anomalies unusually cold, actually uh, 10 degrees or more there below average in most deep blue shades. Quite unusual to see such an extent of cold on these uh, charts. But actually, it's to the rule, but most of the areas are mild than average, so it'd be cold just about extending into uh, the far north of Scotland there, but most parts of the UK and Ireland have above average temperatures, as does the low countries, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, Germany, and down through France and Spain, Portugal, uh, but above average temperatures through there. The central bowl of the Med also milder than average and then over on the eastern side of Europe from the Balkans to the Black Sea we see above average temperatures through there and into the far southwest of Russia so the far north of Europe looks quite cold elsewhere we have above average temperature precipitation looks like that so where it's coldest it's also quite dry of course up here across Scandinavia and out into the Norwegian Sea towards Iceland and Denmark as well. And then southern parts of Europe are driving average. That's the Azores high, of course, bringing dry conditions towards Spain, Portugal, and into central bowl of men, including the uh, Balearic Islands of Mallorca, the Norco, the Beef, as well, of course, to get in Sardinia and much of Italy drier than normal as well. In between that, we have all of the wet weather. So above average rainfall from the UK and Ireland down to France, and then anywhere east of that, right way over towards the Black Sea, uh, with above average precipitation. Most of it rains. Some hill snow could be mixed in, and mountain snow over high ground, especially of course over the Alps and whatnot. But generally, most of that is rain within relatively mild air. Okay, week two will be the 20th, 27th of November. So a uh, higher pressure end begins to pull out to our uh, west and southwest. Lots of low pressure up to the north, though, from the Atlantic into much of northern Europe. Notice we are losing that blocking uh, high around Greenland and Iceland, bringing the wind from off the Atlantic in a westerly to slightly northwesterly direction. The 500 millibar height anomaly uh, looks like that, with below average heights through uh, the North Atlantic and into much of northern Europe as well. High pressure above average heights pulled out into the Atlantic winds again going on a northwest to southeast alignment and trajectory. Looks unsettled for most parts of Europe. But temperature anomaly is still colder than average, so still uh, a northerly component to the air across Scandinavia, although Denmark warms up a little bit. But Norway, uh, Sweden, Finland, so the Nordic uh, regions are coming out with below average temperatures. Elsewhere above average, not as warm probably as it is in week one, not as mild as it is in week one, except over into western, southwestern parts of Russia. But still, most places on the above average side, so slightly above average through the UK, Ireland, France, Spain, Portugal, and into Germany, and then that extends over towards 
towards the uh, towards the Black Sea as well, possibly going closer to average through the Balkans and some southern parts of France into the central bowl of the Med. We might see the temperature anomaly there going close to average. As far as precipitation is concerned for week two from the 20th, 27th of November, it looks like that. So, uh, again, we see that too much of northern Europe is wetter than average. So, Scandinavia down towards uh, Germany and into the low countries as well. Poland included in that and the Baltic Sea states of Latvia, Latvia, Lithuania, above average precipitation. And, of course, where it is quite unsettled up here in the north, um, it's also quite cold as well. So, a lot of that is probably going to be snow, not necessarily over mountainous areas, but possibly snow coming down to quite low levels in some places. It's drier to the west and to the southwest, so it's still pretty dry through Spain, Portugal, also into western parts of France and Ireland, southern parts of England included in that as well. And uh, into the central bowl of that again, we see quite a bit of dry weather from eastern Spain all the way over towards it Italy. The southeastern corner looks a little bit more unsettled, especially around the Balkans, the Balkans of Black Sea, possibly into parts of Romania as well. And then going down in towards Greece and Turkey could just be a little bit more of the unsettled side there. Week three will be the 27th of November to 4th of December. So uh, this week still looking quite unsettled, much of Northern Europe anyway. So it looks like we're reverting to like a classic westerly flow though. So high pressure from the Atlantic into France, Spain, Portugal, that resource high of course, and uh, low pressure to the north of that in between, probably bringing the jet stream in a westerly fashion. So it looks like as we're going further on through November, we are reverting to a more westerly Atlantic driven and zonal flow. 500 millibar heights show that up as well, below average heights around Green, Iceland, in the North Atlantic above average heights down to the south and winds again coming in from off the Atlantic across much of Europe in a westerly direction. How's the temperature normally looking? It's going to be quite mild, I think. So western parts of Europe see slightly above average temperatures. Again, Ireland into France, the UK, uh, Spain, Portugal, the low countries, Germany, just in Denmark, southern parts of Norway, slightly above average temperatures. There. Still quite cold potentially through central northern parts of Scandinavia and it, looks, it does look a little bit colder, perhaps some of those eastern regions. But the signal is weekly, of course, because we're going further out. We're up to week three now. So going further out, the signal starts to get weaker precipitation. For week three, looks like that. Again, it's a weakening signal, but broadly, it still looks like we're in a pattern of quite unsettled from the Atlantic into much of northern and western Europe, drier down across southwestern parts of Europe. So the jet stream likely to be coming through somewhere through there probably with the low pressures all up here and the high pressures tending to be uh, rather more down there. Right, week four will be before to be 11th of December. Uh, so in this week, we find, again, low pressure around Iceland, the green with the 500 millibar heights. High pressure still ridging in towards uh, Spain and out into the Atlantic. That's suggestion going on a little bit more of a northwest to southeast alignment there, though, uh, possibly. It's a weakening still, of course. Again, we're going further out now. The 500 millibar heights, so they're still looking quite unsettled. Below average heights around Iceland and Greenland. High pressure, though, could be pulling out into the Atlantic. Perhaps sending rejection a little bit more northwest to southeast. That means it's unsettled and Atlantic driven, but perhaps a, a more sort of cold zonality type pattern setting up. Temperature anomalies for uh, week four, slightly above average in the far east and northeast of Europe. Cooler though in the west and out in the Atlantic, we see below average temperature anomalies, interestingly. So again, I think that does imply like a, a cold zonal flow, maybe setting up then with a northwest southeast alignment to the jet stream. That will bring the mildest of the air into the east of Europe and the cool and cooler, but not necessarily overly cold air into more western and northwestern regions. Uh, precipitation, well, it's a uh, very weak signal now as we're up to week four, but overall still perhaps looks a little bit drier down to the south and maybe uh, a little bit wetter up to the far north as well. Right, that's your 30-day look ahead done, but let's go through weeks five and six data uh, before we go, because why not? So uh, week five will be the 11th to the 18th of December. Very weak signals now. We've got some high pressure over towards Canada, some low pressure in the central Atlantic. Otherwise, I'll just put in a couple of question marks. So, obviously, 
further out into mid December, a weaker signal. The 500 millibar height showing some high pressure in the Atlantic towards the east side of America and over into the far east of, east of northeast of Europe. In between, could we get a trough of low pressure uh, coming through here, maybe, between those two ridges? I think that is possible. Temperature anomalies, very weak signal, a little bit above average through some northern parts of Europe, particularly Germany, Denmark. Poland and the Baltic Sea State could be a little bit on the cool side out to the northwest and southern Europe looks relatively mild but again it is quite a weak signal and for precipitation oh uh, again very weak signal but overall still looking a little bit wetter in the far north and northwest otherwise drier maybe down towards the extreme south and southwest and then lastly week six will take us to Christmas so this will be 18 25th December here we go and uh, not much of a signal, but maybe just a slight indication of some high pressure towards Scandinavia, which, of course, will be interesting, but it is a very weak signal. Low pressure out of the Black Sea and, again, out towards the uh, Azores. The 500 millibar heights look like that. Now, that looks quite interesting, doesn't it, as we run up towards Christmas. High pressure in the North Atlantic and between Scotland and Iceland and going up towards northern parts of Scandinavia as well. Could that bring the wind in from more of an east or a northeasterly direction there across northern Europe? Temperature anomaly is very weak signal, looking a little bit cold on average in central parts of Scandinavia. And uh, the precipitation anomaly looks like that. So, um, possibly a little bit wetter down across these southern regions and in the Atlantic, perhaps a little bit drier there. Could that be shifting to a negative AO, NEO type pattern? Um, and colder conditions as we run up towards Christmas. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? If that came up, goodness gracious. Long way out though, six weeks away. So, let's wait and see what happens there. Uh, the rest of November, it's looking uh, unsettled really for most of it. Low pressure continue to dominate from off the Atlantic, and um, you know, just a continuation of, of wet and unsettled conditions, much of Western and eventually Northern Europe as well, be including that. We we'll get rid of a blocking high, and then further south, uh, dry conditions through the Med Westerlies uh, continue for the time being. Uh, we're getting to December, it's all up for grabs, I think. Right, that's just a snapshot what Molly showed. Could look completely different when we look at this again uh, next week. Any forecast beyond. Five, seven days comes with big health winds, large pinches to start attack. So when we do next week's European out next Tuesday, again, it could look completely different, especially the further out we go. We will have a look at this model again, however, on Saturday morning, and that will be with the UK and Ireland focus. We're going to be back later on with your 10 to 14 there. So come back for that later for this week's extended EC uh, European outlook. That's all now, and thanks so much.